Hi, I'm Fraser from Rugged Guide and we've put together a short video for you today just to um, demonstrate and give you a look around one of the new TDI ex-military replicas that we built. Now obviously this vehicle to the untrained eye might look like an ex-military vehicle but in fact it did start as a 90 county station wagon and the customer that we built this for um, has specifically requested that it look like a military vehicle on the outside with some of more luxurious interior. So we've got inside, we've got an Exmoor trim carpet set. We've got some custom built leather seats, Exmoor trim cubby lock box, uh, and various things inside, rear benches, etc. So one of the other key areas that we've worked on on this vehicle to make it look like a military vehicle is we've replaced the doors. Now, as we've said in some of our previous videos, there are a few areas on a Defender you want to look for for corrosion, such as the rear cross member, the bulkhead tops, the corners, the bottoms, and also the bottoms of the doors because they are expensive. Now, what we've done here is we've actually retrofitted some Series 3 um, door bottoms and tops. Now, they're brand new, they've come from Britpart, and they actually are very good quality. Now, the one thing I would say about them slightly is the, the skin they've used on the door bottoms is a little bit thinner than you'd find on a regular military vehicle. So you have to be a bit gentle with them when you're slamming them. But apart from that, they're a really good quality uh, unit. And for the cost of, say, about £150, you can replace your doors with units like this. So, brand new door bottom. We've got the capping here that's been put on. We've got the rubber seal and then the door top. Now the only difference between this door and a military one is that the rear of the window here is the only piece that slides on this particular unit. On a military vehicle you get twin sliding. Apart from that it's exactly the same. So that's a great addition and gives it a really nice military look. So other areas that we've done, we've fitted a brand new um, bonnet mounted spare wheel. And that's a system that's uh, available from Flat Dog UK. Um, it's a good little system, about 45 quid and it's very easy to fit. So that gives it the military look. We've also got genuine wolf light guards on here. And then the rest of it is really paint because obviously the grill, the bump and everything's been colour coded to match. So inside as you can see, it's a complete transformation. Now what we've done is we've actually torn out all the old rotten carpet set because it's, even though it's quite a tidy county station wagon, it's 22 years old, and so obviously there was quite a lot of um, damp carpet and rot. So that's all come out, the old seats have come out, and we've actually had these seats retrimmed in, in natural leather by Sam's trim. Now, in my own personal opinion, I think the leather retrims a lot better than vinyl because it's um, got natural give to it. The seats have come up so beautifully, and they've got loads of bolster, so really comfy. And for 400 quid, um, you really can't go wrong because a new seat um, for a Defender, if you had to buy one, is about 300 pounds. So inside here, as you can see, we've got the Exmoor trim um, locking cubby box in the centre. It's got nice cup holders. We fitted the Exmoor trim carpet set as well. And you'll also see we've got rubber mats in there, and everything really to make it look a little bit more um, luxurious inside. One of the other things we fitted is one of these uh, aftermarket steering wheels and that takes a bit of modification because when you remove the old wheel just behind here on this plastic cowling you've got a lipped edge that has to be removed in order for it to sit properly Now they don't tell you that when you buy it obviously but that's something to do so if you're going to do that yourself there's a little tip for you so on the inside here you can see uh, we fitted twin rear bench seats now these are inward facing bench seats and by law for the mot they don't require seat belts they're only really for occasional use because they're not that safe. But if you're um, on a shoot or you're on a green lane or something and doing low speeds, it's quite good to get the friends and family out in there with you. Um, you'll also see we've done a full paint on the inside of this vehicle as well. And we did that by taking the whole roof off when we changed the sides so we can get really good coverage. So it's a nice job in here and it looks factory. You don't really want something that looks like it's just been painted with a roller. So all the rubbers have come off. And you'll also notice that these have got all new door rubbers, both on the rear and on the sides. So again, it's just the little details that we try and implement on our Rugged Guide builds that make them a little bit different, a bit more special, because there's no point just doing such a nice job of painting them and not finishing them properly. So you'll see on the front, for instance, it's got a brand new grill, even though it's been painted, brand new plastic wing top finishes, um, stainless steel screws for actually fixing the grill on the front there so all these little details really make a difference and that's why we think the rugged guide vehicles are some of the best defenders you can buy so despite its rugged military looks what you've got under the bonnet here is a 200 tdi turbo engine which is great if you're doing a lot of motorway miles it gives a lot more power than the naturally aspirated engine you get on a genuine military vehicle and you've got power steering now both of those combined really make the vehicle a lot more usable if you're using it for every day to day so if this is something that you think we might be able to build for you, we do a whole range of TDI builds. They don't necessarily have to be military replicas. We can build one for you to look like a civilian vehicle if it's military or the other way around. But get in touch, give us an idea of what you're looking for and perhaps we can build something like this for you.